Well, I think Roger did a good job. He, uh, he handled himself well. He seemed to have complete control of the huddle, which is a very important thing for the quarterback. He, he threw almost every pass that he threw, very accurate and on timing. Uh, he had no trouble really handling audibles or things that a quarterback has to do, and therefore we felt pretty good about his performance. Uh, this doesn't mean, you know, that Craig Martin is not going to play or he's not going to be ready. I think Craig made as, more, as much progress last week working as I've seen him in a long time. And if he continues this type of work, then he ought to be very accurate and, and back where he is uh, by the end of this week. You've always uh, stressed the experience factor in determining a starting lineup. Uh, I would guess that you still would like to have the experience there. Well, I think you always must work with experience if you expect to win a championship. Uh, this is what makes the National League and the, and the professionals what they are is experience. And when you look at some of the teams like uh, Los Angeles or Minnesota, the teams are very experienced clubs. Well, you know you can't afford a mistake against them, and therefore you've got to have the most experienced people possible on the field if, uh, when you play them. Would you expect that uh, there's a possibility that Craig could play as well as uh, Bob Hayes and Ralph Neely this week? Well, I don't think there'll be much question about Ralph Neely and Bob Hayes playing. I think they're ready. Bob was hurt really last week. He had a, uh, his knee lance for an infection, and he didn't practice much last week. But I expect him to be ready to go, and I expect both of them to play. Now, the quarterback's a little different situation. You just don't put a quarterback in uh, for no reason. Uh, so whether Craig plays or not would depend a lot on the tempo of the game. But I'm very confident that if we don't move the ball well uh, with Roger, that, uh, that Craig would be very capable of coming in and seeing what he can do. Joe, what has the executive committee of the Pleasant Grove Chamber of Commerce decided to do about the action taken by the school board today? Well, we have uh, decided to initiate a statement that we feel like the Dallas Independent School Board has not kept faith with citizens of Dallas by the continual postponement and avoiding an appointment of a uh, school board member to fill a vacancy created by the resignation of one Jerry Wheat. Tell me this, just why didn't they appoint a, a, a replacement for Jerry Wheat today? Is there any one real reason why, in your opinion? In my opinion, yes. Uh, I think that it is boiled down to nothing else but politics. One of the problems uh, with our study is that, that the, uh, and with, it doesn't mean whether we're talking about this study or any other study, there's a, there's a, a tremendous lag period between the time uh, that these findings become apparent to the investigator and the time that they they can be put together in a manner that is comprehensible uh, uh, and can indeed withstand the critical medical audience and get to the practicing physician. There are there are uh, a number of oral preparations currently on the market. Uh, they are uh, predominantly and and most of them are in one chemical family. Uh, unfortunately for all concerned, quite closely related to uh, the one that we tested. The one that we tested was the first one to be licensed. Uh, because they are close chemical cousins, we were very hesitant to, uh, I think, well, we just, again, this is a question that has to be left to the judgment of the, of the individual physician involved. buildings.
in spite of the, the figure. <laughs> I don't think so. I think uh, basically what we're saying here is that we have a, a rather fragmented uh, federal delivery mechanism, as you well know, and that uh, we may have as many as three or four agencies of the federal government uh, giving out family planning grants or uh, handling uh, daycare centers or child care, uh, Head Start programs and so on, to bring us together in an effective use of federal resources uh, directed toward that first five years of life. I think, uh, without a doubt, in the, in the years to come, you're going to see uh, a great deal more interest taken in, in preschool age children. Do you feel then, Dr. Green, that we will eventually have some form of socialized medicine uh, from birth to death? No, I still don't think that's possible in this country. But I do feel that we are going to have what we have developed in the economic area, and that is a pluralism that is really a combination of private and government uh, sector. As of right now, I would I would say that uh, Dallas and Houston are rather noticeably lower in their living cost level than the rest of the country, and that uh, generally speaking, Dallas and Houston prices do not move as fast as they do throughout the rest of the country. We have had a period of a couple of years where Dallas and Houston prices both have moved faster than most other cities in the country and faster than the national index. We seem to be coming out of that now. There are reported to be 20,000 persons employed here in the south and middle sections of Texas Instruments Incorporated. And here is shift change time today, and as these people leave the parking lot, 1,210 of them have realized a sad truth. They have been told not to come back tomorrow. Thus, the county's largest employer has laid off a large number of its employees. We tried today to go inside the fences and talk with some of these people to get their thoughts and their ideas, but the officials at Texas Instruments denied us that privilege, saying this was private property and that we were not welcome. And thus, here we are, on the outside, looking in, as many of these employees will be tomorrow. It's a sad state of affairs that these people have been laid off, but one economist said today it will leave no major impact on the Dallas-Fort Worth area. This is Jim Mitchell, Channel 8 News on the Move at Texas Instruments.